Hey Bag here. Oh, I'm just been sitting down doing some level up action and just got a little message in my inbox in my rewards from Scopely. Here's 1,000 five star tokens for your trouble. I'm not really sure what the uh, problem was. Um, apparently there was a prestige issue, uh, but I have received out of nowhere 1,000 five star tokens. Now, this sort of thing, I, it's, it's not like it hasn't happened before. Um, what I mean by that is sort of received rewards out of the blue um, from either an event that people complained had misleading prizes or, um, well, basically it seems like uh, maybe some members of the community have complained about a particular issue that maybe I haven't picked up on or didn't bother me that much. Um, and then I scopely decides to reward everyone. So cool, I will take these uh, 1,000 five star tokens out of uh, nowhere. And let's see how many that puts me on. Um, yeah, getting a, a lot closer to the uh, automatic five star. That is pretty cool. And with the rewards up for grabs for the current level up um, tournament, Let's have a look. So let's say we stay in the top five. Could be potentially looking at adding another 1,500 tokens there. Um, not going to say that's going to happen. You know, in my life I'll probably just end up with four star tokens. But um, but that's, you know, pretty cool. So getting close to the big one. Anyway, um, let me know if you also got this in your inbox. Oh, hang on. Okay, another... Um, 1,000 tokens. I'll also take that. Thank you very much, Scopely, which, holy shit, okay, I am about, you know, come on, you can do it, Scopely. You can do it one more time. One more time. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you, Scopely. Come on. Maybe if I just keep talking about this, uh, it's going to dump another 1,000 on me. <laughs> holy crap. Okay. Um, wow. Well, you saw it as I was recording it, and yeah, holy shit, okay, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of dumbstruck, guys, uh, that's really uh, out of the blue, um, I guess while I've got you, let's have a chat about new Sawyer, uh, I've been having a look at some of the other YouTube channels, and there's been a really great look into him by um, Killshot, and I just wanted to, uh, and that's over at 999 Gaming, if you want to check him out, he's uh, it's actually kind of part of what sort of made me think, oh, look, it could be fun to record some mobile games. And so here I am recording this. Um, Sawyer, yeah, look, I mean, aesthetically, he is just really cool. Uh, right up there with Romanov. Um, this dude just looks the biz. Uh, he's, let's start off with his weapon. He comes with a custom weapon, much like Yumiko, much like um, Romanov. A weapon that you can't modify um, in any way, but yeah, it's it's got some alright buffs with its 15% attack and 10% HP, giving him a little bit of extra punch and health. Um, and he has that cool bleeding damage. I've found that in coming against Romanov that you know pretty regularly he'll um, he will dish out bleeding damage just from a regular attack. So. That's kind of cool to have this crossover to a green card, and it could be quite interesting to see those two combined in a green-blue build, which is a good build anyway. It's optimized for um, dealing with the respective you know, weaknesses that you may come up against. But um, having two characters dishing out um, you know, bleed that lasts for, um, for four turns, you're dealing, talking about... 280 extra damage for free more or less even after you're you're killed so that's you know that's not nothing so that could be 25 percent of a um of a character's health so um without even having to attack essentially aside from the one that kicks off the bleeding so that is yeah really quite cool um and it's a way that you can dish out damage to uh, human shielders as well 
that um, that can be a bit of a, a roadblock sometimes. So that's yeah, really quite cool. I like that weapon. Um, it could be a little bit better, of course. Like being able to boost the attack and HP would be nice. But uh, looking at his um, his stats, he's got pretty damn big attack. Let's be honest. That's a lot of damage. Uh, health wise as well with a little with you know halfway to 1200 health points he's on the high side his defense is quite low um, that extra HP with his weapon may help uh, now looking at his uh, rush it's quite significant damage 300% it's going to be useful against yellows not enough to kill but enough to really hurt and help you crack through that uh, Michonne human shielder but one of the cool things is that he does dish out a stun. He also has the execution special rule, which is kind of nice in, in, in attack, I suppose, but I think it's actually a lot better in defense because, you know, when you come up against uh, enemies that have that, uh, that, have that, that special skill, they almost always, like, automatically target the, uh, the card that has it, so... Uh, the, the card that meets the, um, the execution uh, activation requirements, I guess you'd call it. And, um, and that could be a real pain in the ass. So when you're, when you're banking on the AI being a bit uh, ditzy and, and just attacking all over the shop, it's really quite annoying to deal with. Anyway, um, these are, so my thoughts on how you could use Sawyer or how I would use Sawyer. Um, I definitely would have him in, I mean, he could go really well in a, um, in a green-blue combo. I could see him working out in maybe, uh, mm, yeah, as the stunner, yeah, I mean, look, stuns are super useful, so I'd say you could go with, like, an Andrea as leader with a Kenny and a blue Abraham, and then having, um, green Lee as, uh, green Lee as human, and on the other side having... Sawyer, and I think that yeah, it could be really. So this is just messages popping up from my um, line chat faction with someone's posting a picture of something, which is kind of cool. So it's probably the tokens that just happened. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's kind of how I would use him, or like a you could you could look at one of those heavy melee builds. So something like um, Yellow Clementine with a Lee Human Shield, and then you'd have a uh, green Herschel, then you'd also have, so that's, that's three, yeah, then you've also got um, your Sawyer, and you you always need a big hitter, so you, you could go a Shiva, uh, who is kind of fast-ish, but um, lacks sort of weapon buffs, so can be a little bit less effective sometimes. You could go with like a big, uh, a big hitter, like Body Armor, um, Yellow Jesus, or Sandy, um, he's got that splash damage sorted for you. So, yeah, look, I think there's lots of ways that you could use him. Um, that that Clementine buff, or you could use Green Abraham alternatively, but then you're kind of restricted to all green. Um, that that HP and defense buff really would help with his um, with his low defense and also stack quite nicely with his high HP. And the HP he's getting from his weapon, which was, is it 15? No, 10%. So that means with Clem you're looking at, you know, an extra 40% health, which is, you know, not nothing. That's quite a lot. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Sawyer. I think he's definitely a two thumbs up card. I, I think he ranks in the upper mid tier. Definitely not like a top, top end card, but to have a, uh, a large like um, broad stun coming out at 56 AP, which can be boosted with leaders, means that this guy is going to be rushing up, you know, on the third turn in defense, which is pretty quick. So those are my thoughts on him. Let me know what you reckon, and uh, let me know if you got those sick tokens. That was awesome. Uh, let's check the mailbox, see if another, another thousands come through. Please, Scopely. Nope. All right, well, look, still, I will take that. <laughs> All right, excellent. Bag out.